Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the final episode and my final thoughts on Boku no Hero Academia second season, or you call it My Hero Academia 2 on episode 25. Now this episode right here became a major setup for um third season, which will become a big change of like um of all of the Hero Academia universe and what's the what's really bound to happen later in the future. So if anything else, let's go. We have to it that two people introduces themselves to Tomura Shigaraki. And apparently we have to it that they all want to fulfill Stain's ideology. And of course, like, um, Shigaraki does not like these two at all. Especially when they mention Stain, Stain, Stain. He, go, he goes like, they're all about Stain, 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 Stain. You are no good! He tries to kill him with this quirk, but... Kurogi, Kurogiri, which is the black butler guy who looks like it, tells them, tells Shigaraki like, no, 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 no. If you really want to make things good, we have to have them in our numbers. Not to mention their, their powers and ideology from Stain. We could use that. We could use that on them so they can help us out. Come on, think properly in this. And therefore, Shigaraki, annoyed, decides to leave and go take a walk. As for the class of 1A, they all we have two of the four students obviously failed, and they're really concerned about taking remedial classes, obviously. And we see to it that Deku, Deku's like, oh, don't get, don't be too concerned, you know. Who knows if there's gonna be a twist later? Although, like, um, they end up having a couple things here and there. There was a twist. Everyone's going to the going to the trip right now, etc. But we had to it that those who fail, which is Seto, obviously, because he actually fell asleep, etc. Did not, um, will take some tough courses when they're in the camp, etc. Of course, like, um, everyone is getting ready for the camping trip because they will be going for about maybe more than a week, etc. And everyone of Class 1A decides to go, like, um, shop together, which is pretty fun. I mean, it would... I mean, like, um, it's really slick to actually, like, hang out with your classmates, etc., and make more friends. Well, they're already friends from the very beginning, obviously, but still. Um, except with the two people, which is Todoroki, who decides to go visit his mother, and Bakugo's not too interested, and Minato calls them party poopers, etc. While everyone is getting the rifle materials, m rifle materials for the camping trip, we had to it that, um... That they all took separate ways to get what they needed to get. And as for Uraka, she, Ochako-chan if anything, she actually ran off embarrassed because of like um, Aoyama or that freaking laser, laser, stomach laser boy thing. Asked her a question like, um, you like um, Izuku, etc. Forgive me for the um, background noise because someone's like, um, car alarm just went off. Anyways, um, for, like I said, um, forgive me for that. Um... We have to it that um, Izuku gets a meeting from Shigarak Shigaraki himself and warns him not to do anything or he will crumble his neck and send him to hell. And he already has all his fingers getting ready to like um, kill him right now, except his middle finger is literally like um, out in the open. Izuku warned him, you want to kill me? You would just get your butt handed by a hero. And Shigaraki's like, yeah, you're right. But you see all these people around here? Um, I don't I don't really give they don't usually give a damn, but I could just kill 20, maybe 30, or possibly more before I get captured. So how about it? You and me, I just want to have a little small talk. That's it. And with that sinister look in the voice he gave out to Izuku, it looked like he didn't want to have a talk, but he actually did. But before he had a talk, of course, he ends up remembering how Stain always had a conviction, etc. And it's always annoying the hell out of him. And everyone likes to like Stain, Stain, Stain. And therefore, he ends up talking to Izuku like he really hates... He tells Izuku that, that he hates everything. Shigaraki hates everything. Not to confuse him with Stain, etc. And he ends up telling Izuku, like, there's something different between me and him. All he did was destroy things that he did not like. And as for me, we're just the same. How's, what's the difference between me and him, huh? Izuku answers in a, in a solemn way by saying, well, I don't agree with you and I don't understand you. He tells that to Shigaraki. 
But when it comes to staying, he says, I understand staying, but I don't agree with him. It's like he started off looking up to All Might in a certain way and later on tries to live up to a certain ideals and did not tend to like throw everything in vain. Like he's not this kind of person that gives up. It seems wrong, but he seems like he's trying to leave, live up to his beliefs. And therefore, that's when Shigaraki realizes, Oh, wow, you finally gave me the answer that I needed. I can understand why you and Stain irritates the hell out of me. It's always about all my... <laughs> I'm like, oh man, that smile is like say I'm ready to f- kill you after you gave me the right answer that I've been looking for. And and we have to that Shigaraki realizes that everyone's smiling because All Might's always smiling all the time. He's always around. When he was strangling Izuku harder than before, realizing like what he's been looking for or what the answer he's been searching for, this made Izuku struggle a bit as he can't really breathe. And he tells Izuku not to struggle, otherwise he's re- unless he's ready to see all these people die. Uraka or Ochako-chan, who apparently was um, who ran off because of embarrassment, finds Izuku with Shigaraki unknowingly. Although Izuku tells that everything's okay, we're fine, but. We have to it that um, Shigaraki just leaves casually like a normal person and says, Oh, I'm sorry, you guys are friends? Forgive me, I'll leave you guys alone. And therefore we have to it that Izuku asks Shigaraki like, What is all for one after exactly? And therefore Shigaraki's like, I don't know. That's, that's something in his own mind. And therefore he leaves without a trace and warns him, You better be careful next time because next time... Once we meet again, I will kill you. That's when Ochako-chan was serious about this and calls the police. And therefore, after realizing that Shigaraki has conviction and he has a purpose now, he will finally take down All Might to change everything. Therefore, the police and Class 1A, 1A students are safe, obviously. Except um, Izuku himself is taken in by the police for questioning after what happened. Although, like, um, Class 1A students were actually concerned because Izuku was involved with this guy. We had to that Izuku answered all the questions and tell them about the conversation with, like, um, Shigaraki. And therefore, that's when, like, um, things kind of got a little, um, tense for the time being. And Izuku gets visited, gets a visit from All Might, and Izuku does ask a question, like, um, are there times where you couldn't couldn't save everyone? And therefore, All Might... Therefore, it gives out a solemn answer by saying, Yeah, there are times where I can't save everyone at all. Like, there could be someone on the street dying. There's someone out on the desert or somewhere else, like, um, passed out. But that is more of a reason why I smile. Anyone who I can reach, I could, I could save. That's the whole purpose of me. Of course, Izuku's mother comes by and was really concerned about Izuku, Izuku because... He was almost he almost got killed honestly. But lucky enough for for the time being, um Ichiku did not get killed at all, etc. and still kept his um his will his will going. And that is the true cause of a hero. After much has happened with like um, the first semester with class one A students from the villains to the hero festival to the Honsu incident with Hero Hero Killer Stain, especially at the mall. The first semester for class 1A and for Izuku ends and as for everyone, they all know that they have to get ready while many of them are training to their best of the ability while Todoroki's talking to his mother, etc. They all get ready to like um, get their um, the minds together to like um, get ready for the camp. While Izuku is training on the beach and being coached by All Might, etc. We have to it that... Um, that there was one scene before it was announced, it gave out an announcement that all for one was actually happy to see Shigaraki um, grow to have a conviction now. And now all he needs to do is have those people to agree with his conviction. Until that time comes, I'm gonna turn him into the next me. And what it ends up before an announcement came off was a brain in a freaking like a chemical, like a. Um, Substance of water, etc. Liquid, if that's if you want to like um get the idea of it. 
And therefore, that's when things gotten really hectic now, and it ends up making an announcement to be continued in third season. So yes, people, like, um, ever since, um, last week's episode of the preview of the final episode, I had a feeling that a third season would come about, because, like, um, the way how it was shown and how it ended, it was obviously that there will be a third season, and it gave out that announcement towards this final episode, which is a good thing, which I look forward to. So, overall, like I said, the sec, well, not like I said, but throughout, overall in the second season, it has been a fun ride from the Hero Festival to the Hero, Hero, Hero Killer Stain incident to the final exams arc. They adapted it pretty well, and that's what I really loved about a lot. There was one filler episode, but that one, but that one filler episode is okay. It's no big deal, no problem. But one thing for sure is like, um, all for one is about to make his move again, and the way how it ended off like that before the third season, it's about to get really, really hectic from here on out. Those of you guys who are manga readers will understand what I'm really, really talking about because next season, whatever it's gonna cover up, which I know it's gonna cover up the the one arc that I'm very familiar about. Once that third season starts, and depending how it ends. Everything is going to change. Like everything in that everything in the Hero Academia universe is going to change, that's for sure. That I will give you just a little minor spoiler on because of what's to come. So it looks like to me the way how it the way how it started from the sec from the very beginning of second season all the way to the very end to the final episode up today, it has been a fun time and it has been a a, a wild blast and I had a lot of fun, honestly. In terms of adaptation, ad- ad- adaptation wise, like I said, it, they did a good job. I would give it like a nine out of nine out of ten out of ten. But for me, in my own perspectives, etc., even though if I didn't read the manga and it had and it had had some action and some strange comedy here and there, which sometimes it doesn't work out, um, we had I will give it maybe a seven point five to an eight out of ten for me in terms of like um how much our characters developed and grew, etc. And maybe a little bit in story-wise, etc. But, yeah. Anyways, thought it, was, thought it did a good job to the very end. Like I said, like, um, adaptation-wise, 9 to 10 out of 10. And in terms of in terms of my own perspective, etc., it'll be a 7.5 to an 8 out of 10 for me. So, until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. So, I'm Alpha Zero, people. Have a good day. And I'll see you guys next time, right? Peace out. Bye-bye. See you guys in fall anime 2017. Toot-toot-toot!